Coverage for you tonight as 2 News reporter Caroline Morse talked to first responders from the Miami Valley who are heading south. Well, Hurricane Laura is categorized as a Category 4 hurricane, meaning the center of the storm will have around 140 mile per hour winds. And as it inches closer and closer to the shorelines, the Ohio Task Force 1 members say they're ready to respond. As Hurricane Laura continues to travel towards the Texas area, 85 men and women from Ohio strapped on their boots, ready to respond. But part of our mission is to help communities recover everyone. So we focus on finding injured and, and people who need to be rescued, live people. But then after a couple, three days, maybe they, we also before we leave, which is why we take the HRD dogs. Ohio Task Force 1 was activated and deployed Wednesday night as a Type 1 team and is heading to College Station, Texas as a staging area. Now the team is driving through the night with three days of supplies with them, but still are expecting some major challenges. A lot of it is just trying to get to where you need to be because there's power poles down, there's a lot of debris on the roadway, there's water on the roadway. It's really difficult just to try and get to the location where you need to be. The majority of task force members work in career fields that provide real world training for missions like this. Emergency room doctors, uh, firefighters, things of that nature. Um, so, so they bring a lot of background and experience with them. So going out on something like this is something that they've prepared for. Staff members said they're expecting major water and wind damage from Hurricane Laura, including houses moved off foundations, major debris fields, and much more. But the reason to respond is simple. This is the United States, right? So regardless of our culture now or the problems going on, we still have an attitude of trying to help each other. As the team continued to pack, the number one thing on their minds were their families. Without notice, you just pick up and leave. And you know, life is still going on, so they have to be able to pick that up, and it'd be impossible without your family support. Now, Hurricane Laura's strength is currently being compared to Hurricane Katrina, which in just a couple days will be the 15th anniversary of the widespread devastation. But according to the National Hurricane Center, the storm surge of winds are expected to hit as soon as tonight. Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.